first, a mother's fury after a footy coach slapped her son in the face. A police investigation is now underway and the boy's mum wants charges laid. I was speechless and hurt for my son. He just slapped me in the side of the head. He doesn't deserve a blue card and he doesn't deserve to be coaching any children at all. Surely every adult knows that that's not acceptable. I've just lost all faith and trust in both the coach and the club. Kids soccer is meant to be about having fun, so the last thing you'd expect, whether the team won or lost, is seeing the coach slap one of the players across the face. This is how the under 10 Eagles soccer team celebrate their victories. But a few months later, that team victory song was tarnished by this. The coach slapping one of his players across the face. The coach hit me in the side of the head, told me to wake up. How did that make you feel when he did that? He's got me angry and sad. Ten-year-old Terrell has been playing soccer since he was five, but the incident has shocked him and his mother, Lisa. Still to this day, watching it just honestly makes me want to cry. It, it, it's heartbreaking to see someone like that who you trusted slap your child. The video is grainy, but you can clearly see beforehand that number seven Terrell is looking off to the side. The coach stops clapping and moves towards him with what could be described as an old-fashioned clip around the ear. I mean, the impact that you could see it made on Terrell's face, his entire face moved when it happened. What's even more bizarre is the incident happened after the game had finished and Terrell had just scored three goals. Even if I didn't play good, I don't think I should get slapped. I have no idea what would have gone through a coach's head to think that that was an OK way to get a child's attention. I mean, they were at the end of the game chant. They weren't in the middle of the game trying to score a goal. The 10-year-old had dental surgery to remove a tooth two days earlier, and Lisa has the text messages to show she'd warned the coach he might be feeling a bit off due to pain medication. There are times when you do have to res restrain a child if it's, you know, in the safety of another child or an adult, but there was nothing like that happening in this situation. It was just an attack on a child for not paying attention, which isn't OK. What if that's his reaction after a win? I'd hate to see what happens after a loss. Triple M radio host and former Wallaby Greg Martin knows firsthand that coaching kids can sometimes be difficult. Whether you've won or lost, you can't rub it into the other team, and you especially can't go hitting kids in your own team. Coach Sean McPherson has now apologised for what he did and stepped down from his position. Hello, is that Sean? Speaking. Dan Nolan from A Current Affair. We were just wanting to have a chat with you. No comment, thank you. My son didn't feel safe. Um, we did ask him that he stay away and he promised he would do so. Um, he has not stayed away. It's complicated by the fact Sean McPherson's own son plays in the same team. He can be seen in these pictures boxing with his dad on his now closed Facebook account. Lisa Fisher says it took the Narang Eagles club two weeks before meeting with her to discuss it. I feel like they're sweeping it under the rug. Um, they don't want to talk about it. They don't want anybody else to know about it. The club said in a statement the coach immediately stepped down from his role and has not acted at the club as a coach or official since. They say that everything revolves around the children there and the safety and the happiness of the children and they've just broken a heart of a 10 year old boy who does not feel safe at all. Lisa has now taken her complaint to police and wants to see criminal charges. Ideally I would like to see the coach go down for what he did. I feel he doesn't deserve a blue card and he doesn't deserve to be coaching any children at all after what he done. The soccer club says it'll cooperate with the police investigation. That statement is on our website.